Hello, welcome. Today I am making a video to go along with Scrap Timber. Today is the second day of Scrap Timber, where I'm using the second sketch. Idea is one um, video a day, so hopefully, if all things work out, this goes up on September 2nd. So, our prompt today is white background. And I am going to use a picture from our time in Denali. Who am I? I am Karen. I am the everything behind A Little Kinder here on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Uh, let's see, what else do I want to tell you? Make sure that you're a subscriber. If you are not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that little subscribe button right now and become one of my subscribers. I love, love, love sharing ideas with you guys hoping to inspire you to use your photos as well. Also, if you hit that like button, it means the world to me. YouTube then knows that this is a video that others need to see and it pushes it out and helps me find new friends. I thank you for taking your time to do both of those things. Now, let's jump into this. Our prompt today is a white base. And being very honest, that kind of threw me. I was like, ugh, a white piece of paper to start with. I don't know about you, but just white paper sometimes, or just solid color cardstock, to be honest, in any color, can be very stopping for me. Like, literally, it's like my brain goes, ah, breaks, don't know what to do with this. However, I had kind of an idea, and I'm hoping that it turns out, and so you guys are going to get to come along and see... Sometimes these ideas are fantastic. Sometimes they're epic fails and we're going to figure out what today's is. Let me tell you a little bit about this picture. <laughs> it kind of looks like a weed, right? So this is actually called fireweed. And one of the things that I found to be very interesting is all of the rangers and all of the park employees, because not all are rangers. Some are interpreters. Others are um, campground hosts, whatnot. They all watch the fireweed, and they know that when the fireweed goes to seed, which this one is, you can kind of see the seeds up at the top, it's flowered and the seeds are falling out, that means winter is, is near, very near, like days or a couple of weeks away from where we currently are standing. So I found that very interesting, and I heard that multiple times over our time in Denali, and that if you watch the fireweed and you watch it change colors, um, my understanding is very early in the seasoning, seasoning, very early in the season, it's more green. And then it gets kind of yellow and orange, and then it goes to this really vibrant red. Now, during our time at Denali, I did see some that was more orangey with maybe a little bit of red on the top go to absolute red, which is what this is. So, that was kind of exciting for me to get to see that. So, here's what I'm thinking. I really want to capture kind of the story. Now, I do not have the ability to print yet. Um, I will have to do my journaling once we get back to the lower 48 where I have an 8 by an eight and a half by 11 printer. But, my thought is we're going to have fire, the word fireweed right here. We're going to do some mixed media behind this to kind of put some reds and maybe some oranges in there on our white base. I'm really hoping that this layout becomes a super, super quick one. You never know with mixed media though. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut the mic off. I am going to speed up video and we're gonna make this layout together. Be back in a few.
right, here it is. Finished. Well, almost finished. I do need to add uh, my journaling, which will go down here in strips over the bottom corner. This one was super easy to put together. I love how this background turned out, the mixed media. I ended up using four different colors. I'm trying to figure out where to put them to show you. Four different colors. I started with the worn lipstick. It has the most in it. Then to give it some depth, I used some barn door and some crackling campfire. And then I love the way that Rusty Hinge gives this brownish, yellowish yum, like some of the base of the flowers still are. I did add a piece from Scrap and Happy Studios. I love that. And then the um, sticker words, fire weed. So there it is. Thank you so much for coming along with me today as part of Scrap Timber. If you are not a follower, like I said at the beginning, I would love to have you be a follower and um, join the tribe and kind of be on this journey together. Can't wait to see what you do. If you are being part of Scrap Timber, let me know. Drop a comment down below so that I know that you too are playing along and I can check out your channel as well. So my friends, until we're together again next time, go make some memories. Bye-bye.